if you are at least 18 years old, have you joined a political party? If not, you may be passing up your opportunity to significantly influence major political outcomes in the country, especially as we approach the 2023 elections. Also, investment banker Mr. Atero Peterside is advising every adult Nigerian to go join a political party. He is the founder of Stambi Capital Bank and ANAP Foundation. He is also the convener of Go Nigeria. Go Nigeria is an initiative of ANAP Foundation. It started at the end of 2021 with 18 advocates drawn from the six geopolitical zones of Nigeria. Go Nigeria is a non-profit, non-partisan movement dedicated to building a new voice for young people in Nigeria. He's joining us on Zoom tonight. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Atero Peterside. Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Now, uh, we kick start with uh, what we should begin with. When a party comes forward to ask us to join or a candidate, a candidate of a party uh, is asking for our votes, the very first thing to look at or to look out for is that party's manifesto. What are the appropriate factors to look out for in the manifesto? I think the manifesto sets out the ideologies of big areas I mean, when I looked at the political parties, I, mean, I, I did a brief you know, study of all of them. I finished up with a short list of three, but three political parties that I could consider. And one of them, I ruled them out because of their, of their, of their manifesto. Because when I read it, half the things they believed in and what they were looking at as objectives were things to, in respect of which I was diametrically opposed. If anything, their manifesto read like they were like a communist party and they were against against the um, private sector or free enterprise. Hmm. So for me, that was like closing the door. You know, so you, when you look at the manifesto of a party, the broad policy the directives, the broad objectives, everything should be closely aligned to what you also believe in as a person. Otherwise, you're in the wrong place. So I think the manifestos are important, except that to be honest, very honest with you, for some of the parties, their manifestos look very similar. But I think I'm just saying that I use manifesto in the sense that if the manifesto is a negative for you, then don't join that party. If yeah, it's that, okay or neutral or positive, then you can join that party. That's my concern because um, I know all along that these parties have similar manifestos and that's um, uh, a cause for concern. When you talk about ideology, they claim, many of them claim that they have brilliant ideologies, they have uh, ideologies that will support the masses, they have ideologies that will uh, really deliver the dividends of democracy, but then uh, they don't do any of these. That's why I had to... Uh, so how then do you uh, decipher uh, which of them, because when they come forward with similar ideologies or manifestos, you're beginning to think, uh, where do I go from here? Two roads uh, are back on in. Which do I take? Well, let me explain. Some, some political parties have never governed. APC, PDP has governed for 16 years. APC has governed for eight years. So I think your question is fair to ask PTP and APC. If this is your manifesto, what have you used it to achieve when, when, when you had governance at the federal level hmm. and at several state levels? But for some of the smaller parties who have never won an election in terms of presidency or governorship, they can give you the defense that we've never been given the mandate to practice our, our manifesto. So you really cannot judge them all you can do is to read the manifesto and see whether it's a manifesto that makes sense to you. So that hopefully if they win an election with governorship or, or, or presidency someday, then they have their own guiding lights. So you cannot fault a man who has not had a chance <laughs> to implement the manifesto in any form. Those you can fault are APC and PD. And uh -huh. I think they have both been very disappointing, most Nigerians. 
Okay, now that, that already answers my next question. I was going to ask you about the uh, quality of this party's leadership at the national level because everything rises and falls on the leader. You know, but then, um, because at the end of the day, it's the leader that will um, appoint team members that will work these manifestos with him. And so if these manifestos have not been able to deliver, then that speaks volume of the leadership, don't you think? So look, if you're managing a country and economy, and the economy is doing badly, which we all know it is, you have also have insecurity, the level that is frightening, then we all know that you've not succeeded. Forget about the people who would lie through their teeth and pretend that something, something good is happening. What is happening that is good? Tell me about the only good news of recent, anything that I think is phenomenally positive is the new electoral act, which, which was, you know, you know, I mean, signed by President Mubari. It's about the only claim of, of good news in recent times. Everything else is bad news. So, and, and I'm also pleased and thankful for that new electoral act because it gives us a chance to have free and fair elections. So if that's even, if that's the only thing that this, this APC government has done, at least let's clap for them on that one. They did one good thing. Hmm. And hmm. several bad things. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, now go Nigeria. You are canvassing for youths who want to take back the country. Now, uh, are the parties doors truly open to Nigerian youths who wish to claim their country back? How do you, uh, how do you now uh, advise youths who truly wish to take the country back? You see, let me make it very clear. Go Nigeria is non-partisan. Inside Go Nigeria, we have a PC member, PDP member. I have recently joined the SDP. And I want everybody to join in any party of their choice. Hmm. I'm never going to join a party and say you must do what I'm doing. I mean, everybody should look at which party where they feel at home and so on. Hmm. So it's to be that when you come together for one objective, we're coming together as Go Nigeria to improve the system for everybody, hmm. to fight the problem of voter apathy, and to educate and try to bring more youth, youth voters among the youth into the electoral system. That is for the benefit of everybody. Because you don't want disenchanted youths who refuse to take part in the electoral process. Instead, they'll take to some other form of expressing themselves that could be beyond control. So you can come together to do something for the good of Nigeria. And that organization is non-partisan. But I believe that individuals, and all of us should join political parties, the one that we are attracted to. Because if you don't do that, even with the beautiful electoral act, even if you solve the problem of voter apathy, your political parties may be defective, and, and, it, and, they, and they may run defective systems. Defective, a defective party with defective systems will, produce a, will probably produce a defective outcome Absolutely. when it comes to primaries, primaries and things like that. They will not bring out the best in Nigeria. So it's important that we join parties and also put pressure on the parties from within as party members. Absolutely. If they're doing something wrong, I'll be silenced if they're screaming, but I have a voice. Absolutely. I want those to do the same, those in PDP to do the same. Mr. Peterson. Yes. Uh, you've spoken very well um, on our prime time news tonight. We must thank you for coming to enrich our bulletin. My last question to you, my very last question to you tonight. You continue to be a challenge to me personally uh, because you, you started Stabic Habitus as a youth. In your 30s, you've been uh, doing very well for yourself and for this nation. Uh, what's your last word in 30 seconds or so to the youth out there? Your last word. My last word is to repeat my third. Go out there, join the political party of your choice, and try and make a difference from within. Go to a party where you, you think you're wanted, where the doors are open, where you, where you don't need a godfather hmm. to protect you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.